Hey, this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got one from Malaysia. This is from Meet Me, and this is the Kam Hyung Pan Mi. This has curry crab paste in it and fried crab sticks. So I thought that sounds real good. That's what this is going to be, the fried crab stick. This is the paste. And then here's our noodle. It looks like a uh, a noodle to uh, enjoy. So we're going to boil this for five to six minutes. I'm going to do it for five minutes and 30 seconds, split the difference. And uh, yeah, and you know what? I just remembered before I went on hiatus of reviewing, I was making sure that you got to see the noodles cook. So now there you are. Look at that. Oh, I should start the timer too. But yeah, it's, uh, what, 11.40. I have about an hour until the kids get out of school and then I will go uh, rescue them from the bus. So, my, uh, this is kind of funny stuff. So my son is on the spectrum. And, uh-oh, crud. I need a paper plate. I need to make sure this doesn't boil over. Anyways, he's on the spectrum. And so he rides a bus with other kids that have developmental disabilities. And they're a pretty cool, cool bunch. My daughter doesn't, although she's a nut job. <laughs> Anyways, um, she's not on the spectrum. However, we live, you know, and she's going to the same school as he does. So every year I have to go through a rigmarole about getting them able to ride the same bus. Well, you never know, there might be more students. There's never enough students to pack that bus. That bus has like, usually like four or five kids on it. It can hold maybe like 30, so, but the transportation acts like a bunch of jerks every year about it. Oh, we're gonna have to wait. We might have to wait until mid-October to find out if your daughter can ride the bus. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. And, you know, they make us hold our breaths, and then at the end, finally, we get notified, you know, like a day in advance that, yes, your daughter can ride the bus. Anyway, so she has fun. She, uh, she doesn't have a problem riding a bus with, with those guys, and what's great is there's this kid on the bus. And he, if you tell him to scream, well, I certainly don't. The bus driver doesn't want anybody to either. But if you tell him to scream, he'll scream. And they like to do that. They've kind of chilled out on doing that because the bus driver really doesn't like it. Then I, you know, I've told my children, you know, don't tell that kid to scream because the bus driver needs to pay attention, you know, and... You don't want the bus, like, careening off the side of the road. And, uh, so, luckily, that hasn't happened. You know? Careening and bus riding is not a good mix. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. I don't know if I can really get a good view of this. But yeah, rest assured, the noodles are still cooking. But I'm gonna try my my handy dandy slicer thing with a lime. And hey, that doesn't work so bad. And I'm gonna try to do it in a fashion. That's really all I need. Cool. And my fingers didn't get sliced off. So that I am thrilled about. Let's get you back to looking at the boiling noodles. There you are. 
But yeah. But it's funny, because it's like, I'll be waiting for the kids to come home on the bus, and that kid will scream at the drop of a hat. He loves doing it. So... I'll be there, and then like, oh, I wonder if the bus is, is here yet. I wonder if, when, when they're going to show up. And literally a block away, I can hear that kid just like letting out the loudest, high-pitched, ear-slicing screams and shrieks you could imagine. And he thinks it's all in good fun. The other guys think it's funny, too. The bus driver, not so much. She's not really into it. She's a nice lady, though. But my boy and... My, my daughter loves to be an instigator of things like that. My son, he's been really good about that kind of stuff. Big thing lately... Oh! The way! Yeah, about uh, making good choices and things. That's good. But, you know, my wife just sent me a message. She missed her break. I was hoping to speak to her on her break, but we will see what happened there. But see, I use my phone as a monitor so I can see what that camera, the camera you're looking through is another phone. So I have the, yeah, you get it, I think, I hope. So there's our noodle. On the package, it says the greatest thing. And a lot of the packaging, for instance, noodles from Asia will say this. Instead of drain, it says take noodles out of water. I like that. So that's what I just did. <clears throat> but yeah, the kids today have a three hour school day. And I'm sure in about, oh, about a, almost exactly an hour away, I will hear the, I, I will go out and I'll be waiting. And then the bus will show up after hearing the, the scre it screaming down the road. It's cool. But today it's conference. I've got a conference for my son. And I got a message. We got a me we get a little like daily report on on the kids. He's in third grade, she's in first grade. She keeps taking stuff from school. I'm, I'm calling this a phase. I'm hoping she'll get the picture. But my son doesn't keep his hands to himself. And I guess the recess lady said that he got into a fist fight. I'm like, really? <laughs> and we asked him about it. Oh yeah, and he took my thing and I, I pushed him a little. And he gave it back and everybody smiled. It's like, um, that doesn't sound like a fist fight to me. So I guess I'll get the skinny on that. But yeah. So I'm going to try this with the, uh, I'll try the fried crab stick at the end after you see I do the pictures. But here's the noodle. The noodle, I mean, this is really good. It's got a nice, 
curry crab flavor. I can't, I, I'm, I'm gonna eat this. Absolutely. Mm. That's good. Mm. That I like a lot. I don't know what my dog's doing, but I like this. Hey, don't do that! Boop! Boop, 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 boop. That'll do the trick. I think. We got... I did just make eggs today. Very nice little added crunch, I must say. Very good. I'm gonna use a little bit of coriander. There's a sprig. I'm gonna add a, uh, a softy in here. You know what a softy is. Oh, wow. Oh, I made a mess. Something like that. I gotta say, that, that is a lovely noodle right there. And I'm gonna add some, uh, some scallion right here. And, uh, more coriander. Kinda balance this out a little bit. I know, I know, I know. A little bit of sesame. Just to make it look neat. I think some crushed red pepper might work well. But for now, let's get this going. Alright, thanks for watching. This has been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. The next one you're going to see is Indomie Martyr. Me and Stan Rasa Soto Banjar Lemao Kut. Kut. Yeah, it's been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye bye.